Hey everyone, and welcome to the fifth in a new series of videos we're rolling out here from Nielsen Networking on security awareness. And today we're going to follow up with, you know, the preventative things you can do to never get to the point where you're going over what we spoke about in the last video, which is, you know, you've you've basically you've been infected or you've lost data and now it's time to restore from backups. So today we're, we're going to take a step back and talk about one more step that was mentioned in previous videos, but to give you thorough um, details on exactly what it is and why it's so important. And that is known as multi-factor authentication. This is also referred to as MFA, two-step authentication, um, two-factor authentication, and, and uh, they're Honestly, there is a little bit of a difference between some of them, but but for the most part, it's it's two different means of authenticating you are who you say you are. So uh, we're going to go in a little more detail in that in the next section right here. And I'll just go ahead and read this to you. MFA is a security method that requires the use of two or more authentication factors to verify a user's identity. That means you, me, whoever's trying to identify themselves. MFA is often used to verify the users who are accessing an organization, um, their, your own email remotely, or a privileged or administrative account. Um, MFA provides greater assurance that the users, meaning you or me, are who they say they are. And it helps keep the data and business system safe, even if one set of credentials, being your password and ID, user or name and password, has been compromised. And to summarize all those fancy words, and a lot of that is kind of like corporate IT jargon, basically that means if you were to get compromised and one of those phishing attempts was successful and they did get you to give them your username and password, the second factor of authentication that you know is, is required to get into the system is going to protect you. So how does it protect you? So it works by verifying the, your identity by before granting access. To do this, it uses authentication factors that fall into three total categories, and you must meet at least two of those. Knowledge. Knowledge is known as something you know. This would be your password, a PIN number, secret answers to those questions they ask you. This is known as knowledge. Second, possession. Something you have. This could be your smartphone. You know they're going to text you. You have that smartphone they could say oh this is a pretty good chance this is you know john doe over there because he has that uh, it could be a smart um, card which is similar to um, your atm card you have that in your possession that'd be one form and then you done your pin that would be the two you don't necessarily always have to have a username and credential it just has to be two out of the three the last one we'll mention is going to be biometric and this is going to be your fingerprint could be a retinal scan they actually believe it or not they do um, iris scanning um, and then they, they have other means of biometric they they even do like handwriting um, they can tell by your emotion how you speak even how you're walking believe it or not are all different forms of multi-factor authentication now why is MFA important this is this is so obvious to me being in, in the situation I'm in but you may not understand it's important because it's a secondary authentication method and believe it or not and I've shown you in those other videos especially in strong passwords the video I believe that was the third one um, it's not hard for them to guess your password it, it really isn't or to crack it they don't even have to guess it they have computer programs that will just run you know dictionary um, lists of words against your password in different combinations um, but this gives you that secondary uh, line of defense and you know what it does it goes ahead and it denies them it denies them there and says you know what you can't get in you don't have that secondary you're out of luck and what happens is you now get notified that someone has tried to log in with your password and they were successful but they were denied when they got to the secondary so you are now alerted you're now wiser and go oh my gosh i better go change my password and while you're at it i'm going to change my secret answers because they might have been able to see those when they got my secret password um, so this is what it is um, and why it's so important and i can't stress enough how important it is for you any service that provides this whether it's your bank you know your um, corporate network at work, your VPN access, your your, your university, your high school, a, a, even your children's data, anything you can do to put a second factor or a multi-factor authentication in place, please do it. 
please do it. I know it can be annoying and it can be a little inconvenience, but you know, you don't want to take convenience over security or you know what, you will end up the fool. People are going to ask you, you didn't have MFA enabled. I get asked that all the time at work or you know, when, when we're in discussions with other people that have been compromised, you didn't have this. Well, I was going to get to it, but I never did. And guess what? It's too late. And they were compromised. And if they didn't have that backup from the last episode, they're up a, a river without an oar. And you know what? That, that's not a good position to be in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a like. Better yet, subscribe, share the video. Um, set on notifications or better yet do all of the above. Um, so I have, I hope you have a great rest of the day and take care. Thank you.